the full season was, we had a lot of disruptions, we had a lot of injuries and, and guys going in and out at different times. And I think the thing that I'm really proud of as a group, um, fan base, the club, everyone is we stuck to it. And we ended up getting into obviously a playing game, um, you know, through it all, which I think was a really good testament to our group and our resilience, our ability for, for guys to step up when others were down. And having so much rotation amongst a group is always difficult chemistry wise and role wise and, and getting your rhythm and all those things. So I think um, as a group, we did a really good job handling a situation that was often difficult. To start the year, to be able to you know, start off so strong was, was really good. I think you know, we do a lot of work and obviously the first game out of pre-season. So pre-season was long and you put a lot of effort in. I'd been away in Canada and I'd done a lot with my basketball trying to um, improve. So to be able to actually you know, do that on game night for the hometown club and, and you know, the place I call home is, is pretty special. I know it sounds very probably cliche, but my favourite part is literally the everyday with this group. Like, it was one of the funnest groups we've ever had to be a part of. And I think we had so many different personalities and, you know, little quirks amongst, amongst the group that all just mesh really well together. Um, we all really enjoyed each other's company. So for me, the everyday was just amazing. And I think that over the course of your career and as I've started to progress through my career, I've realised that, you know, you don't necessarily remember that one 20 point game you had six years ago it, it does you remember the relationships you remember the people you met along the journey um, and i think this is one i definitely won't forget i'll be playing with the boomers which is awesome so i'm looking forward to to that should be a really really cool week and then um yeah sort of tossing up between going overseas or or spending a bit of time sort of in the gym and getting my body right when you're a kid you write down on a piece of paper your goals and to play for australia was always at the top of of mine so I've been able to achieve that before but to be able to do it multiple times is I think a you know I'm proud of myself to be able to sustain that sort of success over over a long period of time um, that's always difficult and requires a lot of dedication so I think yeah for me I'm just really proud and to be able to do it in Melbourne with my family I think that's going to be a pretty special moment uh, it's been great getting back into the community I think it's our third year winning the community award at the NBL of uh, Awards night, uh, Ruben Tarangi taking that one out. So he was um, absolutely unreal this year. And I think Dane and I, the years before, so to have, you know, three guys be able to take out that award, I think it's a testament to what we've been able to do as a club in the community. And I think um, seeing the smiling faces again, obviously COVID was difficult for a few years, not being out there with them. So, and also just the reach of what we were able to do. Um, we were able to get into some, um, you know, sort of rural communities in a way. Um, and yeah, just amazing. The regional um, fans and, and people out there have really, really embraced us as a club. Um, going out there, obviously going to schools, also playing the Gippsland game was really important too. So yeah, we've loved it as a group. I think it's something that we've hung our hat on as a, as a club for a while. And as a player and as an individual too, it's something I really like to hang my hat on. Uh, my message to the fans is just thank you so much. I think we've had Probably a frustrating year, I think, as a fan at times. You know, seeing some of your favourite players sit out each week is always really difficult. And not knowing sometimes who was going to be playing, turning up to a game. And I think they stuck with us. I think that the games here and over at Gippsland, the, the noise was incredible. Um, showing up to our playing game, the noise was incredible. All year, I think that they've really sort of made our group feel like that um, you know they were a part of it and we're all involved together so I just thank you so much we really appreciate it we try and hang around and give you guys as many props as we can because we know you know how much you guys mean to us